Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. In this video, we will investigate Lambert's conformal charge properties. We will first examine the basis of Lambert's conformal projection. Next, we will examine phi of its properties. And lastly, we will look at the summary of Lambert conformal projection properties. Section 1. Basis of Lambert Conformal Projection Simple Conic Projection The basis of Lambert's conformal projection is a simple conic projection. In a simple conic projection, light is placed in the middle of the reduced earth. Paper in the shape of the cone is placed on top of it. Light is then turned on. The shadow cast on the paper is then traced to produce a chart. The chart produced is in the shape of a sector of a circle. The paper touches the reduced earth on single parallel. This parallel is known as parallel of tangency or also known as parallel of origin. From this point onward, I will use the term parallel of origin. In our example, the parallel of origin is 45 degrees. Interestingly, if we draw a line from the center of the reduced earth to the point where the paper touches the reduced earth, the line makes 90 degrees angle with the paper. The angle between the blue line that we draw with the equator is 45 degrees equal to the latitude of parallel of origin. The three lines highlighted in red form a right angle triangle. We have two out of three angles of the triangle. As we had learned in primary school, the total angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, this angle is also 45 degrees. So does this angle. Since these two angles are 45 degrees, the apex of the cone must be 90 degrees. What happens if we decide to take 60 degree latitude as the parallel of origin? As you can see, the apex angle is now 120 degrees. If parallel of origin is 30 degree, the apex angle is 60 degree. Thus, we can conclude that apex angle is equal to 2 times parallel of origin. The apex angle is also known as the angle of cone. The parallel of origin also determines the arc of the sector formed by laying the cone flat. The arc of the sector can be determined by using the following formula. Arc of sector is equal to change of longitude time sine parallel of origin. In our example, the parallel of origin is 45 degrees. We are projecting the entire reduced earth, thus change of longitude is 360 degrees. The arc of sector produced is 360 degrees multiplied by sine 45 degrees equal to 255 degrees. Another important term that you need to remember is Sign parallel of origin is also known as constant of cone. As mentioned in the previous video, scale expansion is directly proportional to the time taken for the light to travel from the reduced earth to the paper. As you can see on the screen, the scale on simple conic projection expand rapidly away from parallel of origin. This phenomenon makes the produced chart non-conformal. Furthermore, the scale expands rapidly, making it impractical to measure distance on the produced chart. Lambert's Conformal Projection In the late 18th century, a German mathematician 
Johann Heinrich Lambert proposed a modification to the simple conic projection. To reduce the rapid scale expansion, he shrunk the original cone proportionally, making some of the paper go inside the reduced earth. Since the cone is shrunk proportionally, the angle of cone and parallel of origin does not change. The two point where the paper cut through the reduced earth is known as standard parallel. The parallel of origin lies right in the middle between these two lines. For the example on the screen, standard parallel are located at 27 and 63 degrees north. Imagine we were not given the parallel of origin. We can calculate the parallel of origin by averaging these two standard parallels. For the part that goes inside the reduced earth, instead of the light project the reduced earth from inside out, it becomes outside in. This modification makes the scale for the part that lies between the two standard parallel contract instead of expanding. By doing this, Lambert managed to average out the scale expansion and make the produced chart conformal. Of course, this process is done mathematically since it is impossible to do it physically. Because Lambert's conformal projection is mathematically altered, it is considered as a non-perspective projection. Having established the basis of Lambert conformal projection, let's look at the properties of the produced chart. Section 2. Lambert's Conformal Chart Properties The list of properties that we will look into are as follow. Scale, Graticule, Chart Convergence, Rum Line, and Grid Circle. Scale On the screen is a diagram that simulates the light path during Lambert's projection. As you can see, at the point where the paper intersect the reduced earth, light path represented as green line hit both the paper and reduced earth simultaneously. The scale is correct along the standard parallel. The light path outside the standard parallel represented as orange line hit the reduced earth at the same moment as the green line but require a longer time to reach the paper. This phenomenon caused the scale to expand. The blue light paths within the standard parallel are in the opposite direction to the other light path. These blue light paths are converging toward the center of the reduced earth. As you can see from the diagram, this converging light path caused the scale to contract. Since parallel of origin is in the middle, the scale is smallest at the parallel of origin. On every chart, you can find the type of projection and its scale. For Lambert's conformal chart, the scale within the standard parallel differ by less than 1% from the scale stated on the chart. The diagram on the screen summarizes Lambert's conformal scale expansion and contraction. Graticule Meridian are straight line radiating from the pole. Parallel of latitude are arcs of concentric circle, all of which are centered at the pole. Parallel and meridian intersect at the right angle, making the chart conformal.
By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. Chart Conversion On the screen is a segment of the reduced Earth's reticule. When it is projected using Lambert's projection, it will look like this. Latitude 45 degree north is the parallel of origin. Let's compare the conversion between reduced Earth's meridian and Lambert's conformal chart meridian at these three latitudes. The change of longitude for all latitudes is 30 degrees. At latitude 30 degree north, conversion is the angle between these two yellow lines which is 15 degrees. We can confirm the value by using the formula. Conversion equal to change of longitude times sine mean latitude. Conversion is equal to 30 degrees times sine 30 degrees. Conversion equal to 15 degrees. On the chart at latitude 30 degree north, conversion is the angle between these two blue lines, which is 21.2 degree. At latitude 45 degree north, the conversion on reduced earth is 21.2 degree. To confirm, conversion equal to 30 degrees times sine 45 degrees. Convergence equal to 21.2 degrees. On the chart at latitude 45 degree north, conversion is 21.2 degree. At latitude 60 degrees north, the conversion on reduced earth is 25.9 degrees. To confirm, conversion equal to 30 degrees times sine 60 degrees. Convergence equal to 25.9 degrees. On the chart at latitude 60 degree north, convergence is 21.2 degree. As you can see, the chart convergence remains constant at all latitude. By superimposing the reduced earth reticule and the chart reticule, we can see why. Since the chart meridian are straight line originating from the pole, the angle remain constant, thus conversion remain constant throughout the chart. As you may have noticed, the chart conversion and earth conversion is equal at the parallel of origin. Thus, we can say that on Lambert conformal chart, Chart conversion is equal to Earth conversion at the parallel of origin. From this statement, we can derive a formula. Chart conversion for Lambert conformal is equal to change of longitude multiplied by sine parallel of origin. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that sine parallel of origin is also known as constant of cone. Thus, Lambert's conformal chart convergence formula can also be written as chart convergence equal to change of longitude multiplied by constant of cone. RAM line as explained in my previous video titled Great Circle, Small Circle, Ram Line, Convergency and Conversion Angle, all parallel of latitude are a Ram Line. The shape of the parallel on any chart can give us clues about the shape of the Ram Line. By looking at the parallel, we can conclude that a Ram Line on Lambert's conformal chart is a curve concave to the pole or a curve convex to the equator. For non-native English speaker like myself, convex and concave 
do cause a lot of confusion. The diagram on the screen may put convex and concave confusion to rest. Grid circle Line on the screen represent a section of reduced earth reticule. There are three grid circle tracks at different latitude. We then project this reticule using Lambert projection with 45 degree north as the parallel of origin. As you can see, the grid circle track along the parallel of origin is a straight line and curve concave to the parallel of origin at any other latitude. For your information, the curvature on this diagram is exaggerated to make the explanation clearer. A straight line between two points on a Lambert chart can be considered as a great circle for general navigation purposes. Section 3 Summary of Lambert's Conformal Projection Properties Summary of Lambert's Projection Property are as follow. Scale Correct on the Standard Parallel Contracted within the Standard Parallel Minimum at the Parallel of Origin Expanded outside Standard Parallel Graticule Parallel are arc of circle centered at the pole. Meridian are straight lines originating from the pole. Chart conversion constant across the chart equal to earth conversion at the parallel of origin. Chart convergence equal change of longitude multiplied by sine parallel of origin or chart conversion equal to change of longitude multiplied by constant of cone. Ram line curve concave toward the pole. Grid circle straight line at the parallel of origin and curve concave to the parallel of origin at any other latitude. On the screen is the summary of Mercator's Lambert's conformal and polar stereographic properties. You can download the PDF copy of this table by using the link in the description. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you need additional help in your exam preparation, consider joining Answering ATPL membership. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the following video.